For our Nuke package comparison, we're gonna go ahead and install our Nuke in a 10 frame Langstroth. It's a five frame Nuke. A Nuke that you'd purchase would typically come in a cardboard or corrugated plastic Nuke box. This is one that we've made ourselves. Sometimes you can get them in a wood box. Oftentimes you have to pay for it or pay a deposit and get it back when you return it. But this is one of our own Nukes. So we're gonna go ahead and show how to install that. And then we can do our comparison to our package. So. We're gonna keep the orientation the same. However, we will insert some undrawn frames We have our first frame here is a frame full of pollen, that's good. Some nectar over here, that's what bees need to raise their young. This side, some nectar and some undrawn comb, so there's some room for them to expand here. Here we have a frame with some nectar on the top and lots of eggs, some young larvae. So this will be a frame to expand in 21 days. Those eggs will be new workers. Same on this side. And there's our queen. So we have verification. There's a queen in the nuke. That's important when you get a nuke. And this is important as well, capped brood. If these were just capped, which I don't think they were, they would hatch out in 12 days. But a deep frame has about 4,500 cells on each side. So it's 9,000 cells. Now it's not full of brood. So if you say 50%, we have almost 5,000 workers ready to hatch out of here. Remember a package is about 10,000 bees. So in addition to all the bees we have, we have half of a package worth of bees ready to hatch out of this one frame. And a second frame with lots of brood, a good look of neck, good, good storage of nectar around the outside and some pollen. So again, we have another 5,000 workers ready to hatch. So these two frames together have about as many bees as the package. And that's why a nuke is ready to just expand and increase much faster. The queen's laying, there's a psycho, we had eggs. We don't have a frame full of larvae. Um, and that would be even better because they, they'll be in stages then. The cat brood would hatch out, the larvae then would be next, and the eggs. We have mostly cat brood and eggs, so there'll be a little gap in there, but that's okay. And this frame has eggs, not fully drawn on that side. So a little less than you'd expect if you purchased a pack, uh, nuke, but this is a nuke that I made. So again, we're missing that stage of larva, which is unfortunate, and this side isn't drawn, but I think they'll make quick work of it. If this were a nuke I had purchased, I would really want to have all the comb drawn out. I've seen some say they put one frame of foundation in to prevent swarming so that the bees have something to work on. I'd rather have five full frames. This is one I made though, so I'm not complaining. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this side actually towards, let's see, what do we have, eggs on this side? I'm actually gonna keep them together. We're gonna have some cool nights. So, we're having nights in the 30s, um, unusually cold for this time. Because of that, I don't want to break this up too much. When we do our one week check on our package, I'll probably put foundation in between. That'll encourage them to draw it out faster. But right now, because I'm moving them and because we're having 40s and, and high 30 temperatures at night, I'm going to keep them together. I don't want to risk shocking them while we move them in here. So that'll make this easy. 
Again, if it was warm, I would put uh, some of this foundation in between here, and we'll do that in the coming weeks as we check them. For now, need one more frame. I'll put it this way. Bees don't like to move out, they like to move up. Another thing you could do is put another five frame nuke above them and get them to work up. But most people don't have that equipment when they're starting out, so I wanted to put it in a 10 frame, uh, traditional 10 frame box for you. Because they're slow to move out, that's why we can move frames in to get them to draw them. We could just leave these bees to slowly work their way in, or we can give them a good shake. Now we'll go ahead and cover them. The cover is supposed to go on like this. I like to give them a little extra room, especially when I put in new bees. So I'm gonna put it in upside down. I'm not worried about them drawing comb there right now. When the main flow is on, if you give them any extra room, they'll draw comb. But that gives them a little extra room to move around those frames and get themselves situated. Then we'll put our outer cover on. And we'll leave these bees and we'll come back and check on them in one week when we check on our package and see how they're doing.